Rules of the Game, brought to you by State Farm Insurance. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Here's Atlantic Coast Conference Supervisor of Officials, Fred Barakat. Today we're going to talk about a very cute situation. A player takes a shot, and the ball gets stuck between the rim and the backboard. What do you do? And who gets the ball? Offense or defense? I'll be right back to explain it. I'm State Farm Agent Richard Clay. I take care of the Barber family's insurance, their car, their home, and life insurance too. Jill and Sherman like the way State Farm handles all the details on their auto and home coverage. And when it comes to life insurance, they like the way I listen to help them make sure that as their family grows, so does their State Farm protection. And like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Okay, we're talking about a situation where the ball gets stuck between the backboard and the rim. The rule is simple. This is treated the same way as a tie-up or a jump ball situation. The ball goes back to the team indicated by the possession arrow. And they will inbound the ball at the nearest spot on that baseline. That's today's edition of Rules of the Game. Brought to you by State Farm Insurance. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Okay, another reminder. We have boxing later in the day on Sports World. We'll be joined by Evander Holyfield's representative, Dan Duva. At that time, it's Holyfield and Douglas in September in Las Vegas for the heavyweight championship. Now back to Columbia, Missouri. Here's Don Crickey. Thank you, Bob. Score at halftime is now a seven-point Missouri lead. The Tigers thought they had an eight-point lead, but the final shot of the half by Lee Coward was ruled a three and scored as a three, but another official looked at his feet, saw they were on the line. So it was a two-point shot as both teams are back on the floor. Coach Al McGuire, one interesting development. Missouri's best big man, Doug Smith, was on the bench for almost 11 minutes with three thousand are still in the game, Oklahoma. It's over 10 minutes, and he's supposedly their All-American. He's a dynamite ball player, so they were fortunate to get away with that. One of the other things that's a problem, Oklahoma has turned over the Tigers 10 times. And they're starting again with the 3-2 zone out there. So here we go. The Tigers have to hit from three-point land. Oklahoma went to the 3-2 zone after Missouri had opened up a 19-5 lead, a 14-point lead. Powering down low is Smith. You see his value. Unstoppable when he gets it posted low. Only seven points, though. He's um, almost a 19-point-a-game scorer. Henry gets hit hard from behind by Peeler, and that's the third personal foul on Anthony Peeler. Story of the game, Oklahoma's Skeeter Henry with a lot of steals, but three fouls. The awful shooting of Oklahoma, 13 for 41, actually comes out to 31-7, under 32%. Front court just couldn't hit. Anthony Peter, 16 points to lead all scorers in the game. Three fouls on Peeler, on Smith, and on McIntyre. And Skeeter Henry playing with three also for Oklahoma. Billy Cubsdale was incensed, to say the least, going into the locker room and coming out. Yeah, he didn't want to do an interview with us, and uh, he says, give it to Norm. He needs some publicity. <laughs> <laughs> they get after each other. Norm Stewart calls Billy Francis the talking mule, and Billy calls Norm Mr. Ed. But they're really good friends, and they're great for the game. They go back and forth. Well, this is a big game for Missouri. you got to remember that they have 29 straight. They've tied their record. If they win today, it's a new streak at home. They'll win 30 in a row. But the one school in the country that leads all of them is Arizona. And second is the other club out there, Oklahoma. Second in the country, winning home streak. Bill Button. Out of the Detroit connection, which is a big story for Norm Stewart's team, four Missouri starters come from Motown. Well, that's not rare. All coaches, myself, too. You start to recruit in a certain area, then you chain recruit. McCovery steals and gets it down to Skeeter Henry. A big hit there, and Sooners come back to within six. You were saying, Al, about recruiting. Uh, the coaches used to recruit in the same area. Now, I was a city recruiter. If you have grass in front of your home, I couldn't recruit your son. 
but you put a crack sidewalk in the tenement area, I got him. Well, what's the difference? You me? Well, I, mean, I was a city guy. He always comes from what you do. There's a pointer, short. Rebound to Jackie Jones, up court to McCovery. Early in the second half, almost a fouling violation again. Jones down low. And he clanks one up, and look at Smith lead the break. Down to McIntyre, and McCovery steals the ball. He has really been something, Smokey McCovery. That's why Smokey wears number 10. That's Mookie Playlock's number, and a lot of his moves are the same as Mookie. Does Mookie play with uh, New Jersey? Plays NBA? with New Jersey. How's he doing, Don? Fair. Well, he's a freshman. He's a rookie. But the, his club is struggling. They lost 13 in a row at one stretch. The current stretch. Mookie's hurt right now. I think he's out with an injury. I can never remember a New Jersey team in the NBA not struggling. <laughs> this one's really struggling. There is uh, Coward, who was hurt in the first half. Ed has a report on that. Thank you, Don. About Coward, their senior guard and leader, they retaped his left two fingers at the half. He's got a bad bruise. Not starting the second half, but seeing action. Let's go back to you. Oklahoma has the ball. 18 minutes to play in the game. Two minutes deep into the second half. Jones fires. And a foul call. On bunting, too much grinding down low. He Smith bumped. was defending the shooter and for a moment thought it was him. That'd be a real problem for Missouri. That'd be his fourth. Watch down low in this replay. They've just taken Bunton out and put Warren in. But they're kind of pushing and shoving. They can call it either way. It's just when the ref decides to let it flow. Why me? He pushed me first, he's saying. Not so, Nat. Henry to recovery. The old smoke man does some tricks in the lane, gets two. Four-point game, Missouri. Six points for Smokey. But his value to the Sooners has been absolutely stupendous. They would not be in the game without McCovery's overall. Big board by Johnny Mack that time. This is why they're number one. Good foul as they make Peeler shoot for his two. Jackie Jones, he's part of the Detroit connection. Norm Stewart said everybody wonders how we get all these guys from Detroit. He says there's probably 50 schools that got guys from Detroit. They got one of the best city games in the country up there. Well, it's, uh, it's a hotbed. It has been a hotbed. Along with Baltimore, Washington, New York, Shy, San Francisco, all the cities. You know, Pete Axon wrote a book years ago called The City Game. And, uh, and at that time, basketball was completely city game. And there's the Detroit connection. Uh, four starters that came from Motown to Columbia, Missouri. Bunton, Smith, McIntyre, and Coward. The guy that makes them all go is the other starter, AP. NBC statistician Kenny Albert pointing out now that Missouri has missed its last four free throws. So that's a problem for Mizzou, whose lead is cut to four. McCovery stroking the three, and Oklahoma is back to within one, the closest they've been in this game. Now it's pressure time for the Tigers. They want to break their home streak. They're at 29. A new record be 30 games in a row. They'll show maturity right now. Taylor puts it up. And the rebound kicked down low. Back. Taylor gets it. It goes. He goes to the line. Don, forget about Peeler's basket that time. Might have been one of the best passes this year that Doug Smith. It was an underhand shuffle. Watch this pass. Outstanding. Peeler really gets knocked around. Yeah, that was terrific. Yep. Coach Tubbs, not what he wanted to see. But you got to give credit, Billy, for that pass. Five free throw misses in a row. Three point lead for Missouri. Oklahoma can tie it up with the launch. They go low to Jones. He dumps to Davis. Oklahoma back to within one. The game was tied 2-2 early, but after that, it looked like a lights-out game as Missouri jumped out to a 19-5 lead. Oklahoma went into his own defense, a 3-2 zone. They've been playing it since, and they've been in the game since. Foul call on 
William Davis of Oklahoma, and Tony Martin's getting set to come back in. 3-2 zone is great and fits for Mizzou. I think they just have a little bit more patience. Now they put in their other twin tower in front of them. They should be able to control the offensive boards on missed shots. Lee Coward with the injured fingers on his left hand back in the ball game. A very, very stable part. Running an offense. A stake free player for the most part as Keeler goes slow. And he draws another shooting foul. And now he's dishing off. We'll see if they give him a be an inbounds play. That foul was on Jackie Jones. See, against the zone, all you need is patience. But when you're a giddy up team like Missouri, it's hard to get that patience. It's hard to make four, five, six passes. You want to get your athletic ability into the game. You want to go up and down town. Okay, circle that three-point area. Now attack the zone, look inside. Bunting drop down low. Now they're in perfect position to attack the zone. Perfect. Wheeler should be able to throw from the side here. Eight. See what they're doing? They're putting a high-low post. They're putting Smith on a high post, bunting on the low. And the best way to feed the bottom post is from the high post. Watch Smith. He's on the foul line extended. That's the high post against the zone. Now you got to remember, when you're playing against the zone, it's men playing the ball. They're not playing man-to-man, -man, plus they're playing areas. And with 15.58 to play, it is a 49-48 game, Missouri. Announcing three ways Oldsmobile's owner satisfaction plan gives you a big edge. One, if you don't still love your new Olds after 30 days or 1,500 miles, we'll let you do something no one else does. Return it. Two, unlike some warranties, Olds covers just one part. This is the part. Three, Olds now offers roadside assistance at a very convenient time, around the clock. The Oldsmobile Edge, extra satisfaction at no extra cost. choosing your business wardrobe, selecting everything down to the last detail. Don't forget the last detail. Cambridge Business Wear from Mead. As important to the way you look as the clothes you wear. Dear Dad, you once told me that courage is putting your fear aside and doing your job. Here in the Army, I've learned what that really means. What's with the two bottles? You gonna wash your hair twice? Oh, funny. It's shampoo and conditioner. Maybe you've heard of them. Yeah, I use them, but I get them both in one bottle with Per Plus. That's great, but I gotta use dandruff shampoo. Yeah, me too. And that's why I got Per Plus for dandruff. Let me see that. Dandruff shampoo plus conditioner in one. Hmm. Hey, my hair's clean, easy to manage, no flakes. It's beautiful. So let's go. Dandruff control, Per Plus. Great hair, no flakes, no fuss. I'm here among the antlers. Tom Detmer, you're the head antler, whatever that is. What do you do here? I tell you what, we just try to raise the roof a little bit, try to get a little more home court advantage for the Tigers. Not that they need any. They're the greatest team in the nation. We all know that. You guys are very rowdy, but I understand in years past it was even worse than it is now. Uh, I tell you what, a couple, uh, a couple years ago, Jack Lingle, when he was here, tried to clamp down on us a little bit, tried to clean up the act, but it's been good for us. We've gotten more humorous, you know, more humor, less hammer. Thank you, Tom. Back to Don and Al. Turnover by Missouri, and it's back over to Oklahoma. And the Sooners looking to take the lead, 49-48. Group up with Eddie. It looks like Halloween or the Broadway show Cats or something. Here's Henry putting it up. No go. Howard rebounding with one hand. His left hand's really bothering him. Lee Coward looks to search out an open man inside, and Damon Patterson is called for hitting it. Big Doug Smith on the arm. Good play by Damon Patterson. He dropped down, doubled down. Only way he can stop Doug Smith is by doubling down on him or fronting him. 
He has a problem. Damon Patterson has been a very strong part of Oklahoma's effort with his fourth personal foul. Oklahoma started this game shooting one of 11 from the floor. Started the second half hitting four of six to come within a point. Doug Smith can extend it now. It was interesting what he said to you, Al, that he was definitely going to stay in school for his senior year. That, uh, that's what they told me, that he was going to stay in, 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 in school for his senior year. It'll be an NBA lottery pick. Would be now, or if he comes out next year, perhaps even higher. Our producer today for NBC Sports is Tommy Roy, director John Gonzalez. Executive producer of NBC Sports, Terry O'Neill, and the coordinating producer of basketball, John Filippelli. This is Don Crickey with Coach Al McGuire and Ed Randall at Missouri for Oklahoma. Skeeter Henry hits the two and ties the game at 50 all. Breakdown in the defense that time of the Tigers. All right, shows if you're number one right now. Rebound to Henry and the Sooners, who were down by 14 points early in the game, in position to take the lead. Jones throws up a brick. Davis fires back what they ruled. He stepped on the basement. No, they're going to call a foul on Howard. That's the fourth personal foul this half on Missouri. Oklahoma has already committed seven. Here's a look at the call. Go along the foul line there, and there's the push. Good call, which created the out-of-bounds. NFL. Pro football. Inbounds to Jones. Here's the Hawk. Down with the bound is the big guy, Doug Smith. 6'10". 10. 10 rebounds for Smith. McIntyre, out to power, low to Bunton. Locked and a foul call. Oklahoma's going to start losing people pretty soon as the foul count mounts on the Sooners. I believe that was on uh, Tony Martin, whose nickname, he and me stay the Hawk. That's, uh, that's the head official, that's Hightower. We just had a quick shot of. Been around a long time. Well respected throughout the country. Senior Nathan Button, they call him now Cool Breeze. He's cool. I think he should concentrate a little bit more. He left the foul line too soon that time, but he's improved so much year in and year out, every year. The last two years, he was in kind of the doldrums, and they're like a uh, trance, but this year he's busted out. Missouri 0 for 6 in the line so far this half. Finally, they hit one to the Tigers, and they take a one-point lead again. Battle for the ball. Oklahoma comes up with it. And Oklahoma oh. takes the lead on a baseline drive by William Davis. And in the show me state, they think that Oklahoma just showed them a travel. McIntyre down low to Button. Another foul call. Oh. And it goes and Missouri takes the lead. What a nice move. For a guy that size. Excellent move. We'll bring you back to that in a moment. Here's the scramble earlier. It's almost like ice hockey. They look, then they try to make the move, and it's too late. There's possession. And inside, the man with the big body, an NBA body, comes in the back door. Nathan Button, after the Tigers lost their lead, gives it back with a three-point play. Peter Henry, down low to Martin. It goes, and Oklahoma ties the game. Both coaches said before the game, one thing you can count on, it's always a great game when Oklahoma plays Missouri, and it's been that. Here comes McCovery. Oklahoma, one of the quickest teams in the land. Missouri, one of the most physical. He's calling a foul, I believe, on Coward. It is. That's right. They just swiped at him. Lee Coward did. Here's a lead down court. There's a foul right there. This game starts going up and down. I missed that one completely. Excellent camera work by the NBC crew. 
as always. Howard, who can the foul, is going to see him. He's going to Detroit as Button. Travis Ford on the run at 5-10. Skeeter Henry defends him, and Travis Ford takes it to distance. Two-point lead for the Tigers. Right back the other way comes William Davis. As we have a flat-out game now. Pedal to the metal basketball, end-to-end, -end, and it's tied up at 56. Missouri cannot run with Oklahoma. Oklahoma will beat him down the court, full-court transition. Doug Smith driving the lane. Two-point Tiger lead. I get the ball into Martin, try to pick up the fourth personal. He did it. Oh, hey! Right call, Coach. Oh, it's about time they did that. I don't know why they didn't do it earlier. Took him seven minutes. Now a major decision by Norman. Coach Smith, a major, major, major decision. Protect Doug Smith because he didn't go to zone. So obviously I would have went to Tony Martin, which the Oklahoma Sooners did. And they got the foul now. McCovery goes up. Ford trips the ball. McIntyre trying to save it. He does. Not there. Around the horn. It's not there. Not there. Get it to your guard. Come out of there, Ford. There you go. Get in the middle of the court. There you are. Set it up. Oklahoma. Excellent. They Change their defense zone. Hey, good call by Oklahoma. They gave a new face. They went for three-two zone to a two-three. Well, he's gone back and forth here in the second half. And right now, as you see the turnover count mount for Missouri. Oklahoma comes down looking to perhaps take the lead. It's as high as it goes. Rebound down to the big man Warren. Foul call on Jones. He's one of the few people not in foul trouble, even though we have a long way to play. Second. I thought originally Warren got away with backing Third. up. Watch here when Warren gets the ball. Now watch, watch. Nope. I was wrong. Again, as I said last week, six eyes are better than two. Norm Stewart, when the third official came into conference play, he was asked what it meant to basketball. He said, for me, it's one more guy to yell at. <laughs> I like when he smiles now. He used to be so intense. Well, he came back from a lot, much bigger game. His life was threatened by a serious illness. Well, Underwent cancer surgery. He's in perfect health now. Yeah, Norm took on the big C. I'm uh, pleased. Kind of readjust your values when something like that happens. This goes back to an amateur sport when that happens. Jeff Warren, the 6'8 freshman, hits a couple of big throws, and it's a four-point game, Missouri. Davis out to Skeeter Henry. Here comes Travis Ford. Leads the McIntyre, and they're going to call McCovery on a foul. If we can replay this, Don, oh, it wasn't intentional, Norman. What are you talking about? But what a pass by Travis Ford. His father was a coach. Watch this pass. Underhand. He split the defensive man. Outstanding. Smokey saying, I didn't do it. So for the moment, Oklahoma loses its smoke. He has to sit down. Backline player who has really kept the tough in this game, and they were for the most part, until Oklahoma rallied to take the lead twice in the second half. Now Missouri, with McIntyre's free throw, has extended its lead, looking to make it a six-point advantage with 12.06 to play. Johnny Mack got the fifth position on this team in the preseason and never let it go. Tigers kick in with offense. They're on an 11-4 run. Steal by steal. McIntyre. Skeeter. Oh, what a block. Excellent block. Excellent block. He did catch him with his body down low. But he had all leather up the bump. That's a fourth foul on Skeeter Henry. Remember, it's his fourth foul. Here comes Skeeter. Johnny Mack protects his body. 
There's the foul down low. All leather up top. Check it out again here, Al. Another angle. What? Well, we didn't finish up on that. There it is now, Alvin. Here goes a condor in back here, Johnny Mac. Here he goes. Up, up, up. All leather, but the body below. Ref was right on top of it. Rebound on the missed free throw goes to Tony Martin. Up court to Jackie Jones, heading for the hoop against 5'10", Travis Ford. Paul Plotkin stepping in, the defensive man's legs were, uh, feet were not planted. Bo both teams are in the one and one now. Here's a look at it. Starts to penetrate, slides through. Michigan players from Missouri players from Detroit, Michigan. Jackie Jones also out of Detroit, and he makes it a five-point game with 11.49 to play in the game. Pine the Leafs is a minivan for kids with parents. And let's face it, we all have them. Yeah. The all-new Oldsmobile silhouette. Talking radical concept here. Your own window seat. Room for lots of things. And neat stuff to keep your parents from bugging you on long trips. Besides, still what makes them look cool. Right. Yeah. Ready, dude? And they need all the help they can get. Yeah. Mom, we need more Wheaties. Right now, get Michael Jordan posters free on boxes of Wheaties. Collect all three and turn them into one Jumbo Jordan poster. But you better hurry, because they're going fast. Better get your posters. Better eat your Wheaties. People who count on my brakes are important to me. So the people who work on my brakes are important to me. The people who work on your brakes at Midas are train brake experts. Remember, nobody beats Midas. Nobody. I grew up on a farm just down the road. I know most everybody in town and handle the insurance for quite a few. I'm their state farm agent, Dennis Hoffrogi. My job is to help my neighbors, to help them protect their families and the things they've worked for. It's a job I take seriously. Every State Farm agent does. You know, State Farm started out in small towns just like this. People trying to help their neighbors. And we're still helping. And like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. College basketball is brought to you by the new generation of Oldsmobile. Step into the future now at your Oldsmobile dealer. And by new Head & Shoulders Dry Scalp Shampoo. Helps protect your scalp's natural moisture balance. How many turnovers? With Coach Al McGuire, this is Don Cricky back at the University of Missouri, where the Tigers are holding to a 63 to 58 lead, 11:49 to go. Oklahoma and Missouri both in foul trouble, as you see Damon Patterson and Smokey recovery on the bench with four each for the Sooners. Big Doug Smith has four personal fouls for Missouri. Travis Ford working in the backcourt. Howard has an injured hand. Another freshman in the game with the ball, Jeff Warren. Here is a steal by the Sooners, Terry Evans, but he can't hold the ball. Would you believe that Oklahoma would play zone? They've played zone the last 20-some-odd minutes. Has created a fit for the Tigers. Interesting that Coach Stewart was telling us before the game that one thing Oklahoma won't do is run a zone. That's how he sees it in the first half. Uh, yet another foul call on the Sooners. As Missouri continues to attack baseline and the Sooners collapsing on the ball are also hitting the man who gets it. This time it was Jeff Warren to the free throw line. And the foul was on Evans. He was hit behind that pack. He hit the last two pressure ones. Coach Stewart said he only plays eight guys. Off the bench will be Coleman, Warren, and Ford. He said, if you see anybody else in there, I've lost my mind. <laughs> Right 
Michigan and Ohio State in a Big Ten matchup. Here in the Big Eight, it's Oklahoma and Missouri. Oklahoma with the ball, Missouri leading by six. Soon as it led Troy Trafford here in the second half. Jackie Jones gets a friendly roll in the Hearn Center, and it's now a four-point game. They want Johnny Mack to pump it up. Missouri comes in 23 and 2. McIntyre's stroke. No good. Rebound and a foul call. Tony the Hawk Martin comes down with the ball for Oklahoma. Foul by the freshman Warren. Boxing coming up next on NBC Sports. And then it's golf. Michael Carbajal and Tony DeLuca. Next from Las Vegas. Marv Albert and Dr. Ferdy Pacheco standing by there. And then it's on to San Diego for the Shearson Lehman Hutton Open. The crowd is really working the foul shooter. They're pumping their yellow mitts. Oh, the target paws waving. All the yellow and black here at the Hearn Center. But two free throws up and down by 6'9", 250 pound Tony Martin. And the Sooners come back to within two, 10.50 to play. Don't forget, Jackie Jones at the top there, six foot eight, playing the front of the zone. Senior Nathan Button with a good move. He's averaging 15 a game and double figures in scoring and rebounding. He has 13 points today. And averages over 10 rebounds. Two points. Remember now the old American Doug Smith is on the bench. He's on the bench with ten and a half minutes in the first half with three personal fouls. Peeler foul. He gave the ball up to Evans and grabbed him by the shirt. So Anthony Peeler with an errant pass and then a foul trying to get the ball back. Peeler has four. And the other leading scorer for Missouri, Doug Smith, is on the bench as you just saw with four. Evans is so quick. He fools you. The big decision for Coach Stewart is when do you move in Doug Smith with four fouls? It's anybody's game. Mr. Evans right here could tie it up. Al, you start to plan your game plan around attacking the people with four fouls inside? I do right away. I would isolate right away. Because you called that one on Smith right away. They went right to it and he fouled. What might happen when Smith comes back in, uh, Missouri might go to the zone to protect them inside the zone. Pushing foul, it might be on Terry Evans. That might be all she wrote if it's on Henry. Let's see what he calls. Big call right here. Peter's got his mouthpiece out, hoping he's not coming out. That's it. Well, then we got bad information earlier. Someone Skeeter told says he got four. four. He, says he, he knows. He's he knows. We don't know, Skeeter. You know, but we don't. Because his bench thought he had five also. So there had been a miscount somewhere. Skeeter himself knew the right count. He and the official scorer. Holman back up. Jamal Holman. Jeff Warren working hard. The freshman bangs inside and gives Missouri a four-point lead. 9.40 to go. And complete frustration that time down for Billy Tubbs. At Lloyd Noble Center at Oklahoma, they had the Skeeter meter, the sound meter. Those Oklahoma fans almost blow the roof off. What a success story out of Lamar. Goes out the football land and makes Oklahoma a dynasty in basketball the last seven, eight years. Davis was fouled inside. Foul call on Jamal Coleman. Yeah, Oklahoma was in a basketball disaster before Tubbs got there. And as we mentioned earlier, Al, if the Sooners win 30 games this year and they're 18 and 3 now, they'll be the first. Division I team to have back-to-back 30-win -back seasons in Kentucky in the late 1940s. 40 years. He gets it done. What he does with his ball players, when he recruits them, he wants attitude, what? bold players. He wants them to be able to shoot. And one other very important thing when he looks at a kid, he wants to see if they can accept challenge. Okay, so people come here to win. We get guys that expect to win. And they're expecting today to win. 
But they're taking on, in my opinion right now, this week, number one, Missouri. Missouri coming off a Tuesday night win at Kansas. Kansas rated number one in the polls, all the polls last week, and Missouri was a 77-71 winner over the Jayhawks of Lawrence, Kansas. If they lose, a lot of people will say they're let down after winning up at Lawrence. I don't think so. I just think that Oklahoma is the quickest team in the country. I said that three times. Remember. In the tournament, the team are getting hot. Got to go on that six-game win streak in the tournament to take it all. You also got to have a long bench, and Oklahoma can have a 10-man rotation. And don't forget, AP is on the bench for Missouri, along with Doug Smith. So number one, two punch, Mr. Inside-Outside. West Point football from yesteryear. Doc Blanchett and Glenn Davis. That's really yesteryear. That was a while ago. Back-to-back -back Heisman Trophy winners from West Point, 44 and 45. The coach was Earl Blake, Colonel Earl Blake. Good timeout, good timeout. Game tied up at 68 all with 8.28 to blow, go, and uh, Norm Stewart wants to talk it over. If you want to go places in any career, ask yourself, can I perform under pressure? Can I be counted on to get the job done? You can learn how in the Army, so when you're ready to take off, you'll know you can go far. Announcing three ways Oldsmobile's owner satisfaction plan gives you a big edge. One, if you don't still love your new Olds after 30 days or 1,500 miles, we'll let you do something no one else does. Return it. Two, unlike some warranties, Olds covers just one part. This is the part. Three, Olds now offers roadside assistance at a very convenient time, around the clock. The Oldsmobile Edge, extra satisfaction at no extra cost. You could call Domino's Pizza and have a fresh, delicious pan pizza in 30 minutes or less. Or you could sit there and listen to your stomach growl. Come on, give us a call. Dry was hot. Dry is Michelob Dry. Bold taste with absolutely no aftertaste. So it refreshes completely. One taste, and you'll drink it dry. Six-time Player of the Year Tom Watson, Payne Stewart at a field of golf and greats, tee off at the Shearson Lehman Hutton Open this weekend on NBC. A year ago, Coach Norm Stewart collapsed on a flight home after the Tigers had been beaten at Oklahoma. And after a physical examination, it was discovered that he needed surgery for colon cancer. A complete recovery was expected, and fortunately for Stewart and his family, came to happen. And here's Ed Randall with another part of that family. That's right, Don. Thank you so much. Not only did uh, Norm Stewart have colon cancer and eight leading ulcers, we are with Virginia Stewart, his wife, and I know that they say that he was he's a new man on the court. What about office? He's been great off and on as long as we've been living together. So. Is he different, though? Because he's much more calm on court. Have you had to change your diet as well? I know that 1989 was a traumatic year for you as well because you had major surgery. No, I did not have to change my diet at all. I might like to lose your weight, but I didn't change it. The only other thing I wanted to ask you is, what was it like when you were a homecoming queen here? Was basketball as popular? No, it hasn't been as popular. Football was really king. Basketball just come on in the last, I don't know, 15 years or so. Good health to you. Virginia Stewart, gentlemen. Well, the game is now tied 70 all with 7.34 to play after back-to-back -back hits on either end. Travis Ford on the side. Gets down low and hits the ball going up to Here's a foul call on Nathan Button for reaching in. Take the long walk down. Both teams obviously in a one-and-one. The Big 8 conference race, and this is a conference that does go to a postseason tournament every year. Missouri is the leader at 9-1, Jayhawks at 8-2, Oklahoma 
at seven and two, so things would really tighten up if the Sooners could come out of here with a win. The last ten times these two teams have met, the home team has prevailed. It is now what we call Big Brother time. That means Smith, Peeler, and Bunting. And the freshman takes it, which is not the right time. <laughs> but a steal by McIntyre, and Missouri has the ball back. There's the rope. Get it into Smith's hands or Peeler. This is the guy you want. There it is. Great look by Peeler. But Smith gives the Tigers the two-point lead. Always remember, teams have big brothers and small brothers. When he gets down to prime time, you go to the big brothers. Evans with a three. Rebound to Missouri. Last time down, it was an important steal right here. Just reached in the cookie jar again. Both these high-scoring teams way below what they average. Oklahoma number two in the country and scoring 108 points a game. Missouri 99 and change, just under 100. Here's a foul call on William Davis with Oklahoma underneath. Davis got a little bit fisted that time with something. Now after that steal, here's the All-American, comes in the back door, stretches out. Stretches out those wings. You telling me that is a lottery pick. But as he said, he's not coming out this year. He's got to make Norm Stewart happy. He's now, going to be right there again next year. Yeah. People in Missouri think they might be backing a next national championship team. Mizzou on top or near the top all season long. Held the number one rating three consecutive weeks. And looking to go to the top spot again on Monday. We got a light year left in this game. Six minutes and 18 seconds. So after a couple of lead changes earlier in the second half, it's been Oklahoma catching Missouri, then the Tigers extending a lead again. First zone by Missouri with a four-point lead. Want to test it from the outside. Look for Smokey to put it up. There it goes. William Davis working harder on a second try. Gets it back up and down for the Sooners. Baseline position. You give away inside position to the baseline men on the zone. <laughs> Who ever thought Oklahoma against Missouri, zone against zone? They go three. No good. McIntyre comes from off. He's rejected by Jones. And... Smith picks up the ball, goes to Button to McIntyre, it'll be three if it goes. Mr. Inside for the Tigers. Give a little nod on that, obviously, to freshman Ford. Last summer, he worked Michael Jordan's camp up in Chicago. Doug Smith with 17 points and 10 rebounds, even though he spent much of the game on the bench with foul trouble. Five point, Missouri Lee. Man. Skeeter Henry. Hook up their feet. Skeeter took one a shot in the eye. Yep. He's playing like a he's playing like a tiger today. Skeeter. Down low in traffic, but Skeeter Henry has such an active body. You think he's on a trampoline. Watch his body. Just keeps bouncing around. 
body goes three, four, five different ways. Stays with it, doesn't stop, back up again. Oh, would he be some boxer? Would he be a fighter? But he, he caught once in the eye. Hey, I'm wondering, why is that championship fight in Las Vegas rather than Atlantic City? Usually money. Oh, I never thought of that. Ooh, pressure, pressure, noise. Remember all you golfers in the world, the amount of noise in this kid gotta make it, and if he misses, everybody says he choked. <laughs> well, nine out of the ten players that started the game have four fouls at this point. Three-point Missouri lead, and the Tigers with the ball. The freshman has been working the back line, directing the offense, five-foot, ten-inch Travis Ford. Foul situation favors Oklahoma. That was interference, no basket, good call. You cannot put your hand inside the rim, which Bunting did that time. Smith put the shot up, Bunting put his hand in. That's absolutely wrong. Now the Sooners come down the floor with four minutes and 25 seconds to play. Oh, we are tied. Jackie Jones at 6'8". Goes up and launches a three. Pulling the trigger from the line, and he makes it a tied-up game at 80. These are two potential outstanding teams in the Big Ten. Sooners hawking button, and Ford now sets the offense. Get it around the peeler. Oklahoma in a rare zone nice. defense, but it's been working. Oh. And another foul call inside. That could be it. What they're doing, Davis. they're going high-low post position with Smith in a high position. If you notice, Peel a penetrated, gave him a bounce pass. Good game. Here's a look at it. Nice game, Will. Good game, Davis. Played hard. Here's a look. Peel a penetrates. Watch the bounce pass. Excellent interior pass. Ball doesn't go in. Goes to the charity line for two shots. Reaches in. Looks like he caught a piece of him. William Davis, Al, hearing that mournful wail of that horn that says, you're out of here. He started the day missing his first seven shots. He's hit his last six, finishing with 13 points. But he won't be the last to sit down before this is over. Lots of people in big foul trouble. The more fouls favor to Oklahoma, they go 10 deep. Missouri only goes 7, 8 deep. One of Missouri's problems is a shallow bench and being turnover prone. Big Break Doug the line. Smith. You missed that one. Get off the line. If you missed the first shot, get off the line. Change Listen. your luck, huh? Yeah, always do that. Well, it's a one-point Tiger lead with four minutes to go. Back after these messages from your local station. Monday, a new weapon in the drug war. Nasty Boys. Based on the real-life cops who risked everything to fight it out. Showtime. Nasty Boys, the movie Monday. Now, it's Furniture Liquidator's President's Day Sale with fantastic savings. Like this four-piece oak finished bedroom, only $3.99. And this complete six-piece living room group, only $6.98. You'll save in every department with no payments for six months. No down payment, no monthly payments, and no interest charges. Our money-saving President's Day Sale ends Wednesday. Don't miss it. Furniture Liquidator's saving you more. Come on, you've been looking at this new Chevy Cavalier because it's economical and sporty, right? Consider this. For a limited time, get $500 cash back. That's an offer that takes a serious second look. See the Kentuckiana Chevy Geo dealer in your hometown. This new full-size Chevy truck has all the horsepower, cab room, and loading capacity you'll ever need on the job. And at Quentin Time, with your $750 cash back, just imagine the places you could go with this baby. See the Kentuckiana Chevy Geo dealer in your hometown. Watch Open Line, Tuesday on Wave 3. College basketball is brought to you by Pontiac and your local Pontiac dealer. We build excitement. By Michelob Dry. Bold taste with no aftertaste. Mick Dry refreshes completely. By the Upjohn Company. If you're concerned about hair loss, see your doctor. And by Magnavox. Smart choices for smart people. Magnavox. Smart. Very smart. Next, it's Sports World on NBC. The NBC Boxing Tour features 1980 Olympic boxing hero Michael Carvajal. His network professional debut. Carvajal, a silver medalist in Seoul for 
which is undefeated decker down the line against Tony DeLuca in a scheduled 12-round junior flyweight bout. For Carvajal, it's another step towards a world title coming up next live on NBC Sports World. The best team in boxing is Marv Albert and the Fight Doctor. Listen in, they're the best. They'll be at ringside. Right now, we've got a long way to go here with 3.45 to play and an 81-80 to 80 score on the board. Curry in the lead, Oklahoma looking to get it back. McCovery a three. And the Sooners take a two-point lead. If there's any Sooner fans here, Al, they're dressed in yellow. There's not much red in this building. Billy Tubbs says there's 40 of us taking on 14,000. Try to force it inside. That is four. The freshman answers the call. He strokes the three, and it's Missouri in the lead. Back at you. Getting down to can you top this? Foul call in Oklahoma. I believe they're going to put the freshman on the line. No, nope, they're going to put bunting on. There goes the shot, a long, what we call a long rebound outside. I thought the foul was on Skeeter, but they called it earlier on uh, the Hawk. Martin, Tony Martin. That's why Button's on the line. Nathan Button, six foot nine senior. As he improved, they call him Big Nate. His dad, Bill Button, was a three-time All Big Ten player. Michigan passed away some years ago of a heart attack playing in a pickup basketball game in Detroit. Part of one of Michigan's finest teams. Michigan's finest team took the floor last April 2nd, though, in Seattle and won it all. We're in the stretch run now. Game tied under three minutes. 2.45 to go. Nathan Bunn's mom is here at courtside. Some of his family as Smith goes to the basket. Breaks the tie. 87-85, Missouri Tigers in the lead. 2.35 to play. A lot of timeouts left. Missouri has three. Oklahoma has four. The arrow favors Oklahoma. That's an important thing to remember. The arrow favors Oklahoma. Good call. Very close to the five count. Smokey had an option. They give him an open option. It was close. He called the timeout. Super call. The engineers who created the Grand Prix endowed it with a fully independent suspension. A powerful fuel-injected V6 and made anti-lock brakes available. Its designers blessed it with an aerodynamic profile. And now, to make Grand Prix an even better value, our accountants have added this. Whenever I used to watch TV, my brother Tom would always flip me out. Then we got this Magnavox smart window TV that lets Tommy flip through all the channels. <laughs> and I can keep watching what I want to. Now I can see what I've been missing. And that's quite a lot. It's simple. The bottom line is when you drink, don't just use your mouth, use your whole head. No joke. Be a responsible drinker. Please, know when to say when. A reminder from Budweiser. I know college won't be an easy climb. That's why I joined the Army. With the GI Bill and the Army College Fund, in two years I'll have $17,000 to help me pay for college. And I'm developing the confidence and determination I'll need to help me succeed when I get there. Now I know I can make it to the top, not just in college, but in whatever I do. Welcome to Phoenix, Arizona. I'm Marv Albert. Later on, I'll be joined by the fight doctor, Ferdy Pacheco, for a scheduled 12-round junior flyweight bout. 
matching Tony Bazooka DeLuca. There he is, 27-year-old out of San Diego. He is the NABF champion, a record of 17-2, and, and he will go up against Michael Carbajal, the hometown favorite, 22 years old out of Phoenix, Arizona. He is the Olympic light flyweight silver medalist in Seoul, and he is trying to become the first 1988 U.S. Olympian to fight for a world title. It's coming up on Sports World following back. Basketball. Now back to Don Crickey and the coach, Al McGuire. Thank you, Marv. His inbounds, Smokey McCovery. And it's now a tie game at 87 off. Travis Ford working in the back line with 2.09 to play. Get around the peeler. Peel will feed down low. There's the high-low pivot positions. Travis Ford hits for two, and he ties. Now 89 to 87 game with 144 to play. Each team is answering each challenge. And more so, they take a point lead. Jones comes right back. Oklahoma with a one-point lead, 126 to play. Neither team has played an overtime game this year. Peeler, he's had only two points in the second half. Hardly chases down the loose ball. McIntyre tipped it away. New clock. 108 left in the game. Tigers down one. Peeler with 18 points with the ball, only two in the second half. Henry has 20 for Oklahoma, Skeeter Henry. Davis fouled out with 16. Plenty of time in the shot clock, 24. Want to get it down to Smith. Ford, a freshman who's not fast, but he lets it launch. It's a clean block. And now, 41 seconds shows on the game clock. Oklahoma 90, Missouri 89. Beautiful block that time by Patterson. So they shut off the shot clock. Oh! 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 They fell asleep! They fell asleep, Don! They sure did as Doug Smith comes down the lane, lays in it, and he'll go to the free throw line. 40 seconds to play. It only took a split second for Missouri to take back the lead. Oklahoma is so used to playing man to man, they fell asleep on the inbound. You're never supposed to play man to man inbound, but they fell asleep. Doug Smith on the game, much of the on the bench, much of the game with foul trouble has now scored 18 points in the second half, 23 for the game, a two-point Missouri lead with 40 seconds to go. Oklahoma gets the ball when we come back. Doctors have treatment programs that are proven to work. More guys are trying them every day. I'm not bad now, but I wouldn't mind looking better. Your doctor can really do something about hair loss. So see your doctor or call this toll-free number.
The Chevrolet most valuable players for the game today are Skeeter Henry of Oklahoma and Doug Smith from the University of Missouri. Chevrolet will donate $1,000 to each school's general scholarship fund to reward outstanding students for their academic achievements and also to assist those in financial need. If you're going to follow Missouri, you follow Nathan Bunton or John McIntyre. If you're going to follow Oklahoma, you follow Tony Hawk Martin or Jackie Jones. They are the weakest foul suits. And here is McCovery back in the game. Missouri by two. Oklahoma with the ball. 32 seconds to play. Out to Damon Patterson as the Sooners go around the perimeter. Waiting for the shot. Will they go for two to tie or three to win? Here's Jones. It doesn't go. Rebound tapped over. And Skeeter Henry will inbound the ball as he saved it for Oklahoma. All right, there's 20 seconds left. Oh, uh, Missouri should go man to man because they don't want to give the three-point shot. They rather give the two-point shot. That'll be an OT overtime. If Oklahoma scores, Missouri will call a quick timeout. Sold out Hearn Center. Everyone standing. 20 seconds to go. Missouri looking to go to number one in the country with a win today over the Sooners. And Oklahoma down by 14 early in the game. Rallying back time and again. Now with a chance to tie it or win it. 19 seconds to go. Sooners with the ball. They trail by two. Damon Patterson. the ball in McCovey's hand. We're down to 10. And Oklahoma will take a timeout. What an ending. We could be going to OT. Ten seconds to play as Coach Tubbs brings his Sooners over to regroup for the final second. Look out tomorrow. Here comes Bonnie. The road to excitement now leads to this. A special touring edition of the Grand Prix Sports Sedan. It's V6 power, fuel injected quick. It's optional anti-lock braking, sure and precise. It's feel undeniably Pontiac. Grand Prix STE. This is precious cargo. Telecommunications equipment on its way to Japan. On another day, it might be medical systems headed for Europe. We design and build that equipment. We're Siemens USA. 35,000 people, 50 manufacturing plants, over $3 billion in sales and service of electronic and electrical equipment. And each year, 15% of that is worldwide exports from America. We are Siemens USA. In baseball, if you trade it today, you're playing somewhere else tomorrow. I know. I played for the Twins, the Rangers, the Angels, and then some. And when you've got to move fast, you can't worry about selling your house. I let the Century 21 people worry about that. I trust them. And nobody works harder to get the job done. Hey, I love Century 21. Hey, Bert. Uh-oh. You got a second. I just wish I wasn't such a good customer. <laughs> Don Crickey with Coach Al McGuire back at Missouri. Let's go to Ed Randall. Don, Norm Stewart told us here if they get box screen to spin inside, Stay away from the ball out of bounds. Don't let them throw the pass inside. They'll call a timeout if Oklahoma scores three. Don? All right, we come down to the stretch run. Maybe we'll go to overtime. Oklahoma down by two. Eight seconds. You see the game clock ticking down. Here goes Skeeter Henry. He's up. It doesn't go. Back up. in a thriller record their 30th straight victory at home. Our thanks to NBC statistician Kenny Albert, the executive producer of NBC Sports is Terry O'Neill, coordinating producer John Filippelli. Today's game was produced by Tommy Roy and directed by John Gonzalez, technical director Lenny Stucker. What an ending for Coach Al McGuire and Ed Randall. This is Don Crickey signing off and sending you to boxing where today Miss Missouri with a big lead then losing it comes back to win as Oklahoma misses at the buzzer. It's an unsolved murder mystery. You can help crack a baffling murder case. I'm outraged and I want him apprehended. Catch a most wanted suspect. From three-point land.